Hello, and welcome to Creating With Mimi if you're new to this channel. If not, and you love decor, design, and lifestyle, subscribe. I'm so excited. Today's video is about eight tips for you to refresh your home for 2022. And these are tips, guys, that may not cost you any money at all. I like that. No money in using some of these tips. This is just a quick guide to help inspire you to get your home refreshed and ready to start the new year. And we're gonna be using things that you already own for the most part. I'm excited, I can't wait, let's get started. Tip number one. The entryway. It is the first space that you see when you're entering your home. So it clearly needs to be inviting, functional, and stylish. This trick can be as easy as adding a new rug. So the next question is, okay, what type of rug should I get or what size rug? And I often say as a rule of thumb, if you have a large open space, then go ahead and get a larger rug. If you have a small entry space, then a rectangular size rug would work, like a five by seven or a four by six. With this, we did talk about not spending money. So guess what, guys? You can switch out your front entry rug with your backyard rug, and that would be perfect. So you're not spending any money in that area. Another way to elevate an entry space is by placing a console table right next to the front door. This would be great. You can place your keys there, a dog collar. I even think it's a good idea to place a lamp on top of the console table. It can be a statement lamp. You can pull this lamp from the family room or you can place two lamps on top of the console table. Then take it a step further and place those lamps on a timer. Check out some of these images where you can see there's no formal entry hall or entry, but just the way that the decor is placed and it invites your guests into your home. Next tip, the living room. Yes, let's liven up and refresh this living room. And the biggest part, or I would think the biggest component to doing this and making that living room feel ultimately comfortable is space planning. If you have a small living room, you wanna make sure that back of the sofa is adjacent to a wall. And the seating area of the sofa will face the larger part of the room. And now you're creating a conference area where people can talk and be super, super comfortable. In a large space or a large open area, definitely float the furniture. Let's move away from a chair in a corner and let's float it into a general area. If it's super large, you wanna think about creating maybe two vignette areas where there are conversation. Maybe you'll have one around a fireplace and then another around a television area. Another tip to refresh the living room area is to restyle that coffee table, your cocktail table. And I suggest you take everything off of it this is probably an area that we often neglect for a year, two years, and we don't change out those decor items. You will want to clear up all of the clutter, the keys, the toys, the remote controls, maybe get a box or some type of container that you can place all of the remote controls in. It will freshen up your space. When you enter that space, you'll feel rejuvenated. But I'm suggesting take items from another part of the house and place them fresh on top of the coffee table. At the sofa area, you want to add pillows, you want to add decorative throws. This will brighten up the space, but it will add color. It will create contrast and interest. By just adding pillows and throws, it will make the space ultimately super, super cozy. An overhead chandelier will brighten up the space and it would make it so inviting. So lighting is super important in refreshing up the space. While we're in the living room, think about all of the photos or family photos that you may have just sporadically lying around, different frames, different color frames and shapes. 
why not consider this time to create a gallery? And in the living room, I'd like to say, let's take a round accent table and create a gallery of just family photos on top of the table. It would actually be stunning. And it would be an area that you can either place a lamp on that table and then place the photos around the lamp. One other tip while we're talking about photos. So you want to either have a large piece of wall art or a television above the fireplace, depending on how tall the ceilings are or how high the fireplace mantle is. The next tip for decorating and freshening up your house for 2022 is the staircase. I love decorating on the staircase in that area because there are a variety of things that you can do. You can create a photo gallery. I always say choose large photos. Keep the frames the same. So let's say we're doing 16 by 20, 11 by 14. You want to use a sizable mat keep it white and then have a color print inside of it. If your stairwell is small, then I would probably want to see only one print, one large print, and that will add interest to the area and it can become a focal point. Consider what I love, Wayne's coating. Place a gorgeous sconce on this stairwell so it could light up the way. You can place one or you can place up to three depending on the size of your stairwell. But these are great options to add and refresh your house for 2022. Dust off all of your shelves where you have decor. Remove everything. Give it a good cleaning. Some of your decorative shelves, take those things off especially if they've been on there a year or two years, you're switching out your color. Unless it's sentimental, it's always good to remove them, donate them, give them to someone else so that someone else can enjoy and have that same enjoyment that you've experienced over the last five, six, some of us have not touched our decor for 10 years and then start replacing those. You're going to have so many items that were in other areas or other rooms and you'll be able to reconfigure them in your living room. If you have bookshelves, you want to decorate your bookshelves with some items of decor. These are easy things that you can do to just freshen up the space. Next tip for refreshing for 2022, the bedroom. Yes, make your primary bedroom as dreamy as possible. You can do this by adding extra seating. Take a couple of chairs out of the family room and place in your bedroom and a table with a small lamp and now you've just created a wonderful reading area or an area just for reflection. You can also place a fabricated bench at the foot of the bed so that's an area where you can sit down put your shoes on i love it when we have upholstered headboards it adds loads and loads of warmth but simply just switching out your pillow coverings would give you so much warmth and revitalization in a bedroom space think about whatever color inspires you it's a great place for you to paint these colors on your wall. You may not have a lot of color throughout your house, but in your bedroom, it's a great place where you can just be free and establish what it is that makes you most comfortable. If you're like me and you stack up on tons of linens, this is a great time to empty out that linen closet go through your closet and if you haven't used it in a year two years it's time to remove it i've removed all of the old tiles the different colors the blues the the greens the grays and i removed all of that and made it one color white i simply fold everything up the same way i store it away I'll add baskets throughout so that that helps with little things that I need to compartmentalize and to store. But for the most part, it makes me feel as though I'm in a luxury hotel. Everything is just white, it's clean, it's fresh, it's bright, and it's serene. 
Next step to brightening everything up for 2022, the kitchen. I love decorating kitchens. To me, it's the heart of the home. It's the place where everyone goes on any given day. I'll start off at the beginning of the year and I will empty everything off of my outer countertops. I'll either place it on the island or on a table and I want to start fresh. All of those things that we've purchased over the year from home goods are not so cute anymore or we're switching colors. I will remove those and I will donate those items. When I am replacing things, I'm only replacing things that are truly essential. And I will find myself switching up positions. So something that if the coffee pot was on the right side of the refrigerator, I may switch it to the left. Go out and purchase some fresh flowers. There's nothing like fresh flowers on the kitchen island. Or if you're busy, sometimes throughout the year, I won't do fresh, but I'll do faux flowers, a different color, a pop of a color, something that gives me a wow factor that I'm gonna smile when I see it. And so my countertops are not cluttered because I've decluttered those. Or you can take and have a bowl and place fruit inside. Of There's so many ways that you can freshen up the kitchen. One additional way is to switch out your knobs or your door pulls. This is simple and it's easy to do. This is another area where if you're trying to bring in hints of gold, you can do that fairly easy and inexpensive. Switching out your pendant lighting. If you have pendant lighting, hiring a licensed electrician to come out and just switch out the light fixture, it may only cost you if a hundred bucks. It's fairly inexpensive to do. If you do not have pendant lighting over your island or over your table, go ahead and add that. A beautiful chandelier would be gorgeous over an eating table. Last but not least in the kitchen, paint. And you've heard this I don't know how many times. Paint is the easiest way to add a huge impact for decor. You can paint your walls out white. Or if you're brave and you wanna take on the task, paint your cabinets. Change the colors of the cabinets. There's so many videos out that can help you paint your cabinets yourself. It's not as daunting as it used to be where you had to completely sand with gel remover, paint remover. There's so many different products that you can use to paint your cabinets out and it's not as difficult as you may think. That's it. These were great tips to refreshing your home for 2022. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content, subscribe. Until next time, make every day a great day.